Hello everyone. So let's look at this question on decision support system. So there is one question in domain two which uh, talks about the decision support system. Okay. Uh, so as such, it's not a very uh, that important topic, but you know, it's not something very difficult to understand or something very difficult to uh, solve this kind of questions. You know, like if at all they ask questions, but normally what I feel is that you know they do not ask question. on this area this topic but since it is a part of the official qae they may ask a question on this particular area okay so we will look at this question and then and then we'll first discuss what exactly do we mean when we say decision support system what are the examples of it and then we will also uh, solve this question and you know by the time we'll understand about the decision support system we will find out that this question is is extremely easy to you know crack all right so uh before solving this question you know let's understand more about the decision support system okay so basically a uh, decision support system there are three words decision plus support plus system so basically most of the times it terms the name itself tells you the meaning of that particular term right so decision something which is supporting your decision so uh decision support system it's a it's a system basically designed to support to support what to support making decisions right so when you are when you when you want to decide something uh, you are basically using a software or a tool in simple words you are basically using a software or a tool which is helping you to take informed decisions right so if you want to just describe decision support system can i say it's a tool right it's a, it's a tool or i can say it's a computerized system right which is designed which is designed to assist the decision makers whom will it help whom will it assist the person who wants to make decision the group of people who wants to you know decide on a specific thing we'll will we'll discuss about examples also so that you know things gets clear for you right uh designed to assist de decision makers in making what in making informed choices by providing by providing relevant information using data analysis uh in analyzing massive amount of data massive amounts of data right so can we say there are three features here there are three main features here number 1 is data integration so what decision support uh, decision support system will do is that basically it will compile the data from various resources across you know the across the uh, internet you can say all right so that would be what that would be compilation of the data data integration then that would be what analytical tools it will analyze the data and then there would be what interactive interface when i say interactive interface it means that it will allow the users to manipulate experiment or play with the data in simple words when when i say something is interactive it means that the decision makers the users can interact can manipulate can experiment with the data right so first it will what it will compile the data that would be data analysis and an interactive interface so any software any system which is having these three features can be called as in simple words decision support system and then you will slowly realize that you know most of the tools which which is there in the market which you might be using is a part of decision support system so can i say example okay so when we talk about examples examples could could be in healthcare industry 
right in healthcare uh, in 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 medical sector you know uh, lots of medical software which could diagnose the disease based on the patient symptoms and the medical history right so uh, then we we can have examples in in uh, weather forecasting industry right to forecast the weathers okay so, so they will be having what they'll be they'll be having what see these three features would be there uh, data integration analytical tools interactive interface so weather forecasting your finance finance uh, sector yeah, there are softwares for what for share market stock market right they will have they will compile the data they will analyze the data then there would be what interactive interface in the sh uh, share market finance sector there could be what uh, software as an income tax right wherein you will compute your income taxes right there are there are software in marketing uh, can i say digital marketing right so uh, for example you know when you uh, when i upload videos on youtube right so we have seo tools search engine optimization tools for youtube right it it helps me to understand you know which keywords to use in the description you know how to uh, like on what topics can i make videos you know what's trending on the youtube and you know on this particular word like sisa what exactly people are looking for right so this these kind of softwares what basically this software is doing okay it is compiling the data the the you know users behavior across the internet what people want in this particular uh, you know area sisa what uh, people across the globe are looking for it will analyze the data and then there is for interactive interface right so whenever these three features are there it is a what it is a, it is a decision support system in simple words so we have lots of seo tools for digital marketing okay for example in youtube right there is something known as tube buddy this is an example of what decision support system right we have uh, scm semrush there is something known as semrush okay basically this is a software okay if you search on the google you will get to know it's a software for google search engine optimization right so these are the examples of decision support system right now we have something known as aws guard duty i hope everyone knows that aws is what it's a cloud uh, service provider right so uh, you know aws they also have their own service like guard duty cloud trail cloud watch what exactly this service they have a threat detection service okay so for example if i store my data under aws okay now i have let's imagine like this you know for people who might be facing difficulty to understand let's say i have some data 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 and i want to move my data here under aws data center right so let's say i keep my data over here right so what aws is saying that oh you have kept your data in my platform right in in our uh, you know data center right so we are giving you some additional service known as okay i am giving you guard duty service right what this service basically will do is that this particular uh, it's a threat detection service that will continuously monitor your aws data it will continuously monitor your aws environment right who like is there any uh, threats external threats it's, it's, it's it, like is someone trying to access your uh, data right all those kind of threats you know uh, like any abnormal unusual like any uh, access from like any any uh, person trying to access your data from unusual location like, let's say you know i access this data from a, a specific location but all of a sudden i see traffic traffic here from some other locations right so it's a kind of a suspicious activity right so all these kind of threats it will detect right it's a threat detection service which is continuously monitoring your aws environment right so it's a guard duty it's a inbuilt service i mean it, it it's a service which you can take you know i mean they will definitely charge something for it right but this is a service now can i say guard duty is also a dss 
can i say that now you have to check for these three conditions right so uh, data integration uh, okay this is met analytical tools and interactive interfaces right so you can interact right so basically when, whenever these three things uh, uh, gets uh, what to say gets fulfilled right we can call it as a decision support system so basically even this is an this is you can say an example of a decision support system basically you know uh, it is also helping you to take informed choices right on the basis of the data provided by the guard duty you can take what informed decisions right and then we also call like you know so we can divide the decision support system basically we can call it as something as specialized dss we can call something as general dss we can call something as general dss when i say specialized dss again the name itself tells you specialized it is created it is tailored for specific industry for specific industry right so it is tailored for sp specific industry okay for example when i talk about the medical uh, softwares right healthcare systems so basically it is only targeting a specific industry but when i talk about the general dss again the name itself tells you it can be used you know across the market across various industries like when i talk about the income tax softwares you cannot say that income tax software is only made for an industry for a healthcare industry for a manufacturing industry right across various industries whether it's finance whether it is banking whether it's whether there is non banking financial institutions it could be any industry right so every industry can use this software income tax software so can i say it's a kind of a general dss right and when we when we say specialized it is it is uh, made for specific industry right so this is you know in simple words decision support system i i know that it's very easy topic nothing you know uh, difficult to understand you know so this is a decision support system right all right so let's try to solve this question now a decision support system is used to help high level management okay so basically we we always say that you know high level the you know top level management management are the decision makers right so when when we say decision makers these people are from the top or the high level management that the senior level management they are the ones who want to take what informed decisions right so it is used to help high level management option number a solve highly structured problems highly structured problems okay what do we mean when when we use the word structured structured in simple word mean easy problems structured straight forward straight forward easy straight forward do you really think dss is designed for solving straight forward simple problems no not at all in fact we are making these kind of tools so that it helps the decision makers to take decision in the areas where it is actually difficult to take the decisions manually right so when when i say income tax softwares when i say share market softwares if if analyzing the stock market or the share market is so easy then you know everyone across the globe can take these decisions you know uh, within few seconds or few minutes right but it's not that easy kind of decisions right it's a difficult decision right so do you think it is solving highly easy highly simple highly straight forward problems no not at all basically it is in fact designed to solve highly unstructured so what is unstructured opposite of structured can i say unstructured means difficult problems right so option number a is definitely not the answer solve highly structured problems no in fact it's it's made for solving highly unstructured problems or you can say semi structured we can also say semi structured what is semi structured kind of mix of unstructured and structured it's not that difficult but again it's not that easy also right it's a, it's a uh, mix of both right but definitely not highly uh, structured right so if you don't understand the word structured you will not understand what exactly it's trying to say option number b combine the use of decision models with predetermined criteria 
see definitely it is using what decision models but with predetermined criteria what is predetermined criteria it is kind of saying that they'll be having the fixed rules or certain parameters fixed rules or certain parameters only those parameters you can look for in that particular like 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 for example what what is exactly is trying to say is that there would be a, a rigid a fixed certain parameter only those parameters you can check okay so let's say if it is weather forecasting decision support system okay i can check only some rigid things you know like you know what would be the temperature of this location you know on this particular date you know uh on what basis it's saying only only some few things right but honestly in fact it is more flexible like the dss you know it is not it is not only uh, you know it it will not only help you to solve predetermined criteria but rather it is more flexible oh there is no space uh, just a second all right uh, just a second uh all right so in fact rather it is saying option number b is saying that would be what predetermined criteria pre determined criteria determined criteria right a uh, fixed or rigid things only only those things you can check out but then no in fact rather instead it is what it is more flexible dss is more flexible it, or you can say it is uh, it will help you for adaptive decision making adaptive decision making right so uh, basically in simple words okay user the decision maker can actually play with the data right so it is very flexible adaptive decision making users can play with the data so it's not a predetermined criteria right so th that's the reason even option number b is not the answer let's look at option number d support only structured decision making task again same thing option number a same thing structured only 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 this only word is very important you know in in some of the questions in fact we have discussed these kind of questions in the past also only structured no it will also help you for semi structured or unstructured so again d is also not the answer so the answer is option number c which is make decision based on data analysis and interactive models right so this is the answer and now i think you know you can solve any question on this topic honestly i have not seen a uh, question on this topic in the exam but since it is in the, in the official qa i thought of you know making a video because uh, this part particular topic as such is not important but then i thought of making a video and i thought of you know explaining this concept right so i hope everyone understood this concept thanks a lot